I'm here outside the Mammoth Mall, which is set to be demolished any day now. Um, and we're gonna take one last lap around the mall. Come take a look. This is our meeting spot where we would meet right here. Um, so we're gonna walk through. Back in the day, this is where you wanted to come. Sam Goody was right here. Uh, bought so many CDs, even cassettes back in the day. Now I'm really dating myself. Um, but that was right here. I'm about to uh, walk up the escalator. One last time up the escalator. Uh -huh. All right, one of the spots that we used to spend a lot of time, I know I did, outside or even inside was right here, GameStop. Oh man, the original location, fell in, fell in love with video games, of course, and would just... They, at one point they had a little terminal out here because it was too crazy inside and we would just play the games on the outside, if I recall. I can still smell the cologne outside Abercrombie. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. One of the big anchors right here was the Gap for years. Remember that? The Gap was right here. And what was that? Ara Pastel across the way, right? And uh, there was like a leather store. I think there for a long time always smelled so good, the leather store going down another escalator into, this was kind of like the main thoroughfare of the mall, right? Where all the kiosks were. And when you were here, this is where you would kind of run into just a lot of people um, in this area. Cause there would be a ton of kiosks. I have really, I have really vivid memories of like Christmas shopping you know, days after Thanksgiving, coming here and this place just being mobbed, right? Just a sea of people. Um, and this would like where you would go on a Friday night. So the guys would meet up and come here. The girls would meet up. We didn't have cell phones or anything. So it was just, you'd go to the mall and it would be like a treasure hunt, kind of walking around until you found your friends. And this would inevitably be one of the places where you would run into a lot of people. So there are actually still some stores open here. So um, this is the one spot that there are some stores. All right, if I was coming to the mall to eat, this would be the place right here. It was like a Cajun barbecue place. I forget what it was, uh, the name of it exactly, but for $6.02, you could get a meal with a meat, two veggies, starch. Your plate would be overflowing 
I'd lather it up in some bourbon sauce. And they always gave out free samples, right? So you always came by and, oh, I wonder what that tastes like. And you got a little toothpick sample um, before you order. It's pretty crazy how this one place really holds a lot of memories. It's kind of like walk, you know, like walking through your own childhood. It's pretty wild. There was a guy I just saw, um, you know, there's some other people that are walking around here and um, you're seeing people like kind of all taking it in. And uh, there's one guy over there just kind of getting a little emotional and um, it sort of hit me too. There's a lot to unpack um, in here, emotionally, for people that grew up in the area, um, coming here with their friends, family, since they were little, little kids. I mean, I could not tell you the first time I was here, but I'll remember my last, that's for sure. Now, as I mentioned, this stretch right here, kind of from where the food court is, um, there's still some stores that are open. A lot of them are closed, but there's still a lot um, of activity here. I know that some of these are going to be demoed. Um, most of them are going to be demoed, but some of these are remaining. Bath and Body Works still smells fabulous. East meets West. It's like a, a ripoff of Intrinsic. Remember Intrinsic? That was like one of my favorite stores to go into of all time. Totally forgot about it. Um, intrinsic and East meets West. have to walk down these steps right here one last time this was like the center I don't know kind of courtyard here I guess where Santa Claus would be Easter Bunny uh, right down here right so if you walked down these steps during that time there were always a crowd of people here this was always jam-packed but if you couldn't get on the escalators or if you wanted to come down uh, the center of the mall uh, this is where you'd go.